One of the reasons why, like, I'm in a march in the parade, I'm happy to be marching. You are marching? Mag You're going to talk about the marching? Yes. Okay, I'm but, sorry. But, he says he's marching. Well, he's actually marching. sitting in the top of a convertible <laughs> doing the princess wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, but, people march around us. But I just want to say, like, I am so... This is the gay pride, uh, uh, we're gonna that's be the happening pride tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. What time is that? Uh, well, like I think it kicks time. off at 10 a.m. 10, 10 a.m. So, but it goes for several hours. We're what towards street? the tail is end. It on, is it on Santa Monica? Is it closed down? Is Santa it Monica, in, yeah. Santa Monica, yeah, that nice Hollywood. strip. Okay. Yeah. And but, make sure that you know that we're watching Hollywood.tv and uh, call in and check in with us. And hey, we're, we're ready, ready to give uh, t shirts and DVDs away and, and pick up where you left off. No, I was just going to say that's one of the reasons why I'm, 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 I'm doing that and also doing the covers because. I saw so many of my friends die, and, and I just so I was just thinking of my friend Derek, who actually Derek now would probably be a trans person, you know. But Derek was, uh, you know, would also go by Diane, interestingly. Mm -hmm. But but it's interesting because almost right away when he got diagnosed, and I was about 20 at the time, went right on the AZT, and he was dead in like six months. <gasps> and uh, oh. it's just like, and I love uh, anyway. There's so many stories. And, and we all, so but we all have plenty of friends who didn't go on AZT right. who are dead right away too. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I mean, and you know, it's it's it, you know, I was very lucky, and but I guess the thing is, is that I, I just want to say that I am so appreciative of what Diane and and the people at Plus and Here Media are doing because it is kind of I am the oddball in Hollywood and in show business and I feel like there is a celluloid closet around that issue. Yeah. There used to be one around being gay. And, and and so the more of us that come out, you know, I did, as you know, Ron and Laura Take Back America with the incredible Jim J. Bullock, by the who way. maybe Jim J. Bullock can do something mm -hmm. with, but Jim was one of the first actors to come out openly as Paz. I don't know if that was even because he wanted to at the time, but it did happen. And there's just a handful of people that are out. And the reason I do it is not to get more attention for myself. It's not really about, I mean, look, I'm an actor. I just, I'd be happy to just be private and be... But there's something about, about using that platform to help spread a message that says, let's not have stigma. This is just a regular thing. Everybody should get to live and be happy. And why can't you be an out positive actor? Why can't the next 20 year old kid that's out, uh, that's positive, why can't he be out and be an actor? Just like anything else. So I feel like... Or like any other profession. Yeah. Or, I mean, if Angelina Jolie can come out that she had her, you know, like she had, can you know, she was concerned and she had, had a, a mastectomy. A mastectomy. Reconstruction. I mean, it's it, just ending the stigma. And the stigma is so important for not only the gay community, but it, it goes into all sorts of, you know, it's like, you know, there's the, in the African American community, in the Latino community, and so many Especially communities. Especially among transgender women, they have the highest rates of HIV. And, really? And Why is that? Well, because uh, generally trans women have, uh, there's a higher percentage of trans women who have been forced into street economy because the un um, employment, unemployment is sky high for, uh, for trans folks. And so they've been forced into sex work sometimes. And then there's the lowest number of resources for trans women. Um, so, particularly among trans women of color, African American trans women, 59% have HIV. Wow. So that's and, a, and then you know, just the we're talking alarming numbers. And the stigma in the community, the communities that are, you know, sometimes it's the church, sometimes it's just family, you know, so it's just like, let's open it up and let's talk about it. There's nothing to be afraid of, you know? And for my thing, <laughs> you know, I've been doing, I've been in LGBT media, oh God, over 20 years, and I remember in the very beginning, uh, you know, coming out interviews have always been my specialty. I like to talk with people when they're finally ready to, mm. to just claim their lives, right? And, uh, but I remember in the very beginning, you know, journalists uh, would know somebody was gay or lesbian or bisexual, but they wouldn't ask it. You weren't supposed to ask it. Um, mm. and, and there was this, like, you know, presumption. And so we know all through history, people, every, you know, the media all knew Rock Hudson was gay long before, you know, the public and stuff like that. So I feel like we're, with, we're there with HIV right now. And I see this even when I have like college interns come through and work for me, and I say, just ask about HIV. Ask, you know, and they're afraid to ask, like, have you ever had an HIV test? 
they're afraid to ask people that when they're doing interviews. Mm -hmm. You know, how basic is that? Right. And uh, they don't want to offend them. And, and I just think, like, we've got to get over that. That's a basic question. When was your first HIV test? Like, when was the first time you knew somebody with HIV? You know, like, that's not even directly saying, do you have HIV? Right. It's just talking about it. So yeah. I think that we're there with the media where the media is still very much afraid to ask these questions that, that we really should not, that we really should be asking. And at the same time, uh, the percentage of ignorance around HIV, now 30 years after the first deaths, is still alarming. So we still, you know, the, the rates of people who still believe you can get HIV from a swimming pool or from sharing a utensil or a water cup. I'm so glad that you brought that up because as I'm sitting here, I'm probably one of those ignorant people as well, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't really, you know, you hear so many different things and you don't necessarily know what the truth is. Mm -hmm. And you've done so much research, it would be great if you want to talk about that. I, I think too, you, you said something that you were the, one of the lucky ones and, I, and I'm really glad that you're one of the lucky ones because you're a fantastic person and oh, I know you thanks. personally as well. And, and um, you've done such great movies, and you're a fantastic actor. And and I I, I know that you you felt like you've been given probably a couple times a second life, mm -hmm. a, a second chance. Mm -hmm. And that second chance has given you that freedom to be who you truly are with what is real and say what's real and and uh, you know uncloak who you are as a person and, and, and what your gift is, you know, what you're supposed to share here. Because I think we're all supposed to share here and at WatchHollywood.tv, we want to share with you these amazing people, this amazing information, and, and talk about subjects that really matter, um, you know, to, to people that we're just all human beings. We're all just trying to make it here and trying to figure out our way. Mm -hmm. And I would say that you know, I would ask you a question. How do you contract that? You know, when, when you ask that question, you don't want to because you're almost afraid. Like, if they do, then I don't know what to do next mm -hmm. with you now. Now, uh, because I'm in there's a place. A, there's you know a lot I'm of saying? fear. There's a lot of fear. Let me tell you. So, I can touch mail. I could kiss mail. I could French kiss mail. I could probably give mail a blowjob. And I would not get <laughs> HIV. So, let's we, put it right out there. I do that right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> That is part of it is actually so you all would of those not. things. All those things. All those things are safe. None of those things are going to give me HIV.